What's going on, you savage sorcerers? My name is David, and in this video, we are essentially going to be opening up 45 packs of Guilds of Ravnica. So, I've been solely working on building up my collection so that I can play anything at any time and just switch between decks freely as possible, because um, I think that'll be the best ex experience for me, and if I continue to make videos, especially play videos, it will help out with that tremendously. Um, doing fairly well as Park as control goes. Um, I'm, I have a couple competitive visit Drake's decks. This is a 5-0 Esper control. Uh, a bent fog deck, I guess, with some flare in it that, um, I mean, technically black doesn't need to be there. It's for, uh, for some uh, surveil, or not surveils, uh, discoveries, which you can cast with blue. You don't need black, so it kind of adds that there. And then I have a bane fire in there just for kicks. Um, in case I stall long enough to get 21 lands and they have 20 life and I can just kill them outright. Uh, and then Grixis Control. Today I had a quest for casting red and green spells and going along with the control theme. I built a, a Tamir Control deck, which is actually mostly blue. So it didn't really help with the quest and I played one game, got kind of destroyed by a sort of off... Uh, uh, Boros, really weird Boros deck, but I don't know, my draw was bad, and so I just decided to build a, you know, one of the five and O Gruel aggro decks, and went two and O, finished my cast thirty red and green spells real quick, um, so that was nice. But um, essentially, what I did was I went through my collection, and I sorted it down to mythic rares, collected, not collected, and I scrolled through everything, and I wrote, you know, kept a tally, like how many mythic rares, like even specific amounts of copies if I needed, like three Karns, that's what I put down, um, but the list I came up with was nine from Dominaria, 15 from M19, 13 from Guilds of, uh, or Ravnica Allegiance, type that funny but and then guilds of ravnica 14. now m19 has a lot of cards so the odds of getting what i need and you know reducing that 15 down specifically aren't very good and i do have quite a bit of uh, mythic uh, wild cards left so in this instance i thought guilds of ravnica was the best option so let's get into the pack opening I mean, there's a lot of rares I need from all the sets. Uh, I don't see myself playing that card ever, but you never know. And Raw. Uh, Raw is one of the... I have like one copy, so three of these 14 are Raw. That's a very nice pickup. I will take that. And I don't know if I'll ever play a deck with four Raw in it, but I think he's my favorite uh, Planeswalker at the moment. March of the Multitudes, holy crap. I don't even know if that was in my list. Am I that terrible at... Do I not own one and I just kind of glazed over it because it was gray? That's bad. Citywide bust. Uh, eh. I don't know. Sideboard maybe somewhere. Chamber Sentry. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Not as good as it's as what it replaced, so rip. Okay, not, I I really need uh, rare wild cards, really bad. Charnel troll, no, don't need that. I have uh, spent most of what I had, which I had like two to three times as many mythic rares or mythic uh, wild cards, but I've been spending them all on getting the lands to build out decks because there's so many rare uh, rare lands that you need. Divided Visitation. I mean, that fits places. It's a Kalos route. That can make a deck I build. Absolutely. But how many... I mean, we have tons of uncommon wild cards. Alright. Swift Blade Vindicator. 1-1 one, one Double Strike. Those in Trample. Eh. I'm sure I'd build a Boros at some time. I don't know how many decks that makes it in, though. Mission briefing, okay, not bad. 
you don't see it played a lot recently. Midnight Reaper, very good, very good. That that can make several different uh, decks with black in it. And what the popular one right now is the uh, Aristocrats Guild Mage Forum. Um, all right, that's playable. Got another rare unlock, Knight of Autumn. That's good. So far, this is, we're doing pretty well. It's a really good set to open. Beast Whisper. I mean, that's probably a better limited card, but I don't know what kind of a sort of green or green combo deck I'd use that in. Mausoleum Secrets, which library for a black card. Come back, cause less than get one. It's okay, you're putting your hand. Yeah. The limitations on that are too great. I mean, you can might be able to play it as a fifth copy of some card with black on it, but in a creature deck, like, what are you searching for? Specifically, it's black. Drowned Seekers, yes, I will take that. I will build a mill deck at some point, and that's a form of control. Uh, Trotta, the Silencer, eh. I don't see myself building that sort of uh, Demir deck. Ionize, thank you. I will take that. Right, and some sort of raw uh, build that's in my head, Ionize is a super powerful card because if you can ever uh, ultimate raw another one already, if you can ever ultimate raw in every instant sorcery you do, you cast does four damage to the opponent, and that one ends like. Instantly down to six damage. Seems pretty good. All right, mythic. I'll always take those, but running out of mythics to actually buy that are useful. Venerated Loxodon, definitely playable. Not my style of deck, but may come up. I'm gonna spell out of five mana. You may cast an instant or sorcery in your hand without paying its mana cost. Uh, yeah, I mean, the type of deck that plays those large of a <laughs> instants and sorceries, are you going to put a creature in there? It's just a target for all the removal that every other deck plays, right? Erratic Cyclops, 4 0 Um... Oh, let's combo it off that last guy and just like use him, pay three, cast a Nexus of Fate, take an extra turn, hopefully draw another one or have two in our hand. And then we have a seven, eight, two turns in a row with Trampo. Yeah, that sounds like a legit combo. Dawn of Hope, yep. Definitely playable, I'll take that. Don't want to have to waste uh, wild cards to make them, so. And so far, we're like halfway through. This has been a really good box. All right, another mission briefing. Got another rare. Plus, now we're working on a mythic. So we'll get another mythic of two more rares, at least, from pack openings. Hopefully, we get some more from the packs themselves. Really need those rare ones. Nice! We called for it, and we got it. I will take it. Discovery dispersal. Don't I already have four of those? Maybe not. Chance for glory. Yeah. Not my style of play in Boros, but who knows what'll develop in the future. Chamber Sentry, another duplicate. Light of Legion six five five flying mentor. Each white creature you control. I mean, can you play a one of that, one of, and like a Selesnya tokens just for the fun of it? Maybe. Another Midnight Reaper. That's a duplicate I will take. Starts opening up some possibilities for, uh, especially the Aristocrats deck. All right, we'll un unlock the Mythic Wildcard. Light Allegiance. Wait. 
Alright, that wasn't two packs in a row, but that was like two out of three, right? What is going on? Gruesome Menagerie. Nope. Although, does that make... That makes the uh, Aristocrats deck, right? In some builds. Tristani Discordant. Other creatures you control get plus plus one. When this is the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink at the beginning of your end step. Each player gains control of all of the creatures they own. Well, I guess that's a counter to some... Uh, that's awkward. I don't see that being played anywhere. Thief of Sandy, I will take it. I do have that Esper control deck going on, but I think I bought all the copies I needed at the time. Ritual Soot. Like, maybe that fills out my playset. That's nice. Very nice. Although one of the problems I have with that Esper control deck is I tend to have more creature removal in my hand than the opponent has creatures. Another Swift Blade Vindicator. Rip. And got another rare. And we'll get one more before we're done. Wait, what is the two in a row? And three total out of the in this box out of 45 packs? God damn. Third mission briefing? Are, is, are things repeating themselves already? I feel like the set is bigger than this. Another Donna Hope? I'll take that. I mean, that's playable. Um, Azani? Okay. That works in Golgari and some undergrowth builds. Thief of Sanity? Okay. Now I, we're going to finish out with all duplicates at this point. Can we get one mythic we haven't gotten? On the William Secrets again? Not looking good, boys. At least we got that other rare. Risk Factor. Oh, there we go. I think that's my first one. So, yeah, that's awesome. Not that I want to build a mono red jank deck, which seems to dominate right now. Two Risk Factors in a row. How long do I have to talk to get the third one and the fourth one out of two packs? Wow. Alright, so this has actually ended pretty well. Despite all the bad duplicates, Venerated Loxodon, playable card, I'll take it. Definitely one I don't want to wait don't want to have to waste wild cards on. And lastly, Legion War Boss. Very good. I just used two rare wild cards to build two of those for a deck. Uh, maybe I should have done this first. Um oh yeah, specifically that Gruel Aggro. There's two Legion War Bosses in there. Oh well, that seems like a really good um, 45 packs. There's a little bit of disappointment in, as far as the cards that double and triple repeated, but overall, you know, about 30 to 32 of those packs were actually playable and good and um, usable in my set or collection. So, awesome. I uh, hope you guys appreciated the video. Thanks for stopping by. Check you later.